Joining us now, the head coach of the Minnesota State Wrestling Program, Jim Mikofsky. Coach, we're well into our dual season now after going through the early part of the schedule where we're facing open competition. Why don't you take us up to speed where, where we are in the season right now with our schedule? Okay, well, after the holiday season, we had a couple um, conference meets before the holidays with University of Mary and Minot State University. And then we, we had a break, and then we went to national duels last weekend out in Indianapolis. And it's a really good indicator because obviously a lot of the best teams are there, 16 of the best programs in D2. And those teams are made up of the, some of the best individuals. So it was a good little test to see where we are. And um, there's there's some encouraging things, but I think it was a missed opportunity. We were so close. Um, so now we take that missed opportunity, and hopefully we have a burn in us because the, the things that we need to do to progress, um, both as a program and in, individually, were apparent because you wrestled good competition. And we got beat by the champion, but we um, we, we had some big wins. Uh, Matt Mincy beating the national champ and rank, um, kid ranked number one. Madam Cooling had a good match. Um, Malcolm Allen had a good match. We had some other guys compete, but we didn't compete as hard as we should have, and we had a pretty good talk after that. And then wrestled Indianapolis, who was ranked 16th in the country, and um, beat them. And, you know, so that was a good win, just to show we're going in the right direction. And then we wrestled Carney, who was ranked third in the nation. And um, that's the one that kind of stung, because that's the one that would put us in a day two. I'm going to put us in the top eight, and Carney is a good team. And we just made some mental mistakes. Um, for the most part, our team right now, it's not effort related. We just have to make better decisions, um, clean up our technique a little bit, and um, and learn from all these things. And so that's kind of where we're at. We're hot and heavy with duels now. It'll be almost like a football schedule where we get to train, um, and we're on Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays. It's not bouncing all over. We don't have to get up at five in the morning to go do an all-day tournament. It's literally, it's a, it's a way in. One hour later, we're wrestling, and team is starting to take shape. You went uh, one and two of the national duels, as you mentioned, a, a great yeah. tournament as always, and and uh, uh, with uh, with uh, uh, a nice win for you against yeah. three ranked teams. Uh, individually, Matt Mincy, you mentioned him. He went uh, three and zero oh and uh, was named uh, NSIC Wrestler of the Week, a Regional Wrestler of the Week. Not a lot of people know a lot about him. We haven't had a chance to see him wrestle a whole lot. He's 12-0 and 0 in the season. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Matt Mincy? Uh, Matt comes from Apple Valley, an outstanding um, prep career. Um, went to the University of Minnesota. Um, and for the last year, year and a half, he's been um, going to grad school and, and coaching at Iowa Lakes. And um, he had one semester left. So this is his first semester with us. Um, he's a really, really self-motivated guy. He's got, he's got a lot of talent. And I think when you take a break from something and you try to teach it to somebody else, you know, like when he was in his coaching role, I think you learn so much from that because you're out of, you know, you're out of the maze. You're kind of looking at it from a, you know, a, a 30,000 foot view rather than being right, you know, ground level. And um, so he's not only been, he's he's definitely going to help us. He's very competitive. Um, he's got a shot at winning the national title, but he's raised the level of the guys around him. He's right in the middle of the lineup. Everybody from Bruno to Vandalu can wrestle him, and um, they've raised his level too. You know, so that that he's been a huge addition to the program, and um, we're happy he's here. We're excited for the uh, home duel Thursday night against MSU Moorhead, right here at beautiful Taylor Center. What do we know about MSU Moorhead? And uh, tell us a little about uh, January. We're busy at home with four duels. We have five duels in all, four of which are being Taylor Center. Folks will be excited mm -hmm. to see the Mavericks at home here beginning on Thursday. Yeah, that's when guys look look back on their career, one of the, fun, the biggest memories is wrestling at home. And um, so I'm hoping we get a good crowd out on Thursday night. Um, this will be our first opportunity to showcase what we have. And it's been a long time coming. Um, but as far as Moorhead, it's kind of interesting in Division mm -hmm. Two because you don't always know what they're going to have for their lineups until they settle in. We're in that same position. 60% you know, of our lineup is set. Um, but we're, we don't necessarily know um, until we get their lineup later on today what they have. But I know they're well coached. They always wrestle hard. Um, they have uh, down in the lower weights. They've got some good individuals, and I don't know a lot about their upper weights. Um, and part of that for me as a head coach and leader is I'm spending a lot most of my time focusing on our guys and not getting them too worked up about um, you know, what our opponents like because we want to go out there and impose our style on them and wrestle the way we want to and not change things. Um, 
So we're excited about it. Then we will um, we have the weekend off. Our starters do it, and our backups and our red shirts will go to a tournament this weekend. Um, it's important to keep developing those guys and keeping those guys fresh. Um, one little backstory with our team right now is we have some unsettled spots right now. So um, just really pushing them hard this week to separate themselves. And obviously, as a coach, I want both of them to get better. If we got a situation at 149, let's get both of those guys better, and that's going to ultimately make our, our 149 pound spot better. And um, that's not always easy to do, you know, because you got to put you got to push them. And um, so basically, earning the trust that they're going to be the guy and they're going to be the guy for the long term, because for sure, by the end of January, you want to have your lineup set. You want to have um, Basically, your your technique, your mat strategy set, and all we're doing is polishing and fine-tuning going into the postseason. Good deal. Sounds good, Jim. Good luck Thursday night against uh, MSU Moorhead. Thanks, PA.